Hey guys, it's Commander Video here. Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be doing DX Deity versus Woodrow Wilson. So let's get into this. So obviously we're going to start in California, where I think DX Deity is easily going to win California. Obviously, um, you know he's going to be getting huge Asian turnout. Um, you know, Woodrow Wilson is just one of those Democrats that isn't going to do well with Asians at all. And also, DX Deity being a mod, you know, he's a libertarian. He's going to, you know, bend over to China at any chance he gets. And he's obviously for open borders. So, obviously, he's going to get Dan's endorsement. He's going to be getting Jeff's endorsement. And it's going to solidify Orange County so he can win California. And then Nevada, I also think is going to go red. Obviously, it's DX Deity's home state. Obviously, he's going to win. And he's going to get the gay furries, strippers out to vote huge in Las Vegas. And also the prostitutes, too in Las Vegas so he can win Nevada and obviously Utah is gonna go for DXDT you know Thou and her army of simps they're, 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 they love DXDT because he's moderate just like Mitt Romney so they're gonna come out huge for DXDT and then Arizona is gonna go blue Arizona is gonna go blue because Lalo is gonna be doing fiery rallies with Jominican in the dry heat um, to get huge neocon turnout uh, for Woodrow Wilson it's gonna be called Wilson I mean Republicans for Wilson um, in Arizona because you know Lalo's gonna see um, Woodrow Wilson is the real person that's going to get us into all the wars and this is going to be um you know doing it's just going to be the one that's being a neocon and lala loves neocons and obviously alaska is going to go blue and um, hawaii is going to go red and then obviously oregon is going to go blue obviously you know a blue voyager putting red voyager in prison obviously and obviously antifa pressing the republican vote um Obviously, he's going to make Oregon go blue. Same thing in Washington. Antifa is going to be suppressing the Republican vote in Washington, especially in Seattle. And Posty is going to be coming out huge for Woodrow Wilson um, so he can win Washington. Um, because, you know, DXDT is a fascist. You know, he's a fascist. And, you know, Antifa trying to stop fascism. And the farm states are easily going to go for Woodrow Wilson. Because Woodrow Wilson, he did a lot for farmers when he was president. Um, so I think he's going to be doing very well with farmers. And not DXDT. They're going to see him as this, you know, the, the, the farmers, they're done with DXDT. They're done done with the Republicans. They think they're just a party of neocons. Um, so that's what Woodrow Wilson is going to be saying, even though Woodrow Wilson is a real neocon himself. So the farm states are going to be voting for Woodrow Wilson. And then Colorado is going to be going blue. You know, Woodrow Wilson, you know, he hates black people. And guess what? Hispanics hate black people too. So those two things just play hand in hand. So you're going to see Hispanics come out huge for Woodrow Wilson against the XDT, even though he's for weed. And same thing in New Mexico, since there's a lot of Hispanics there too. And same thing in Texas. Woodrow Wilson's going to be getting huge Hispanic turnout. It's not going to be so much because of demographic changes. Woodrow Wilson's also going to be doing, he's going to be winning the white vote in a lot of these states. Uh, because, you know, the racist white people are going to be like, we need to vote Democrat again, because DXDT, he's too moderate for us. So we're going to vote for Woodrow Wilson, who's, you know, he's not only racist, but he's also very very conservative he's not like AOC he's not one of those AOC type Democrats so you're gonna see white people coming out huge for Woodrow Wilson so he's gonna be winning the white vote in a lot of these states especially in the deep south where he's gonna be easily winning I think all in probably comes out for DX deity but it's not gonna be enough in Georgia so Georgia's gonna go blue and then Florida Xenox is in the, is in, and his elite team of hackers are gonna come out against DXT against DX deity they hate him with a passion so they're gonna come out and endorse Woodrow Wilson and do everything they can to make DX deity lose because he's gonna be a terrible president um he's gonna be a rhino republican and then obviously north carolina is gonna come out for woodrow wilson it's part of the south um woodrow wilson is gonna be putting backstar in prison getting tom tillis and faraway's endorsements so he, he can easily win the white vote in north carolina he's still gonna be talking about health care though woodrow wilson's gonna have a better health care plan than dx deity so he's gonna win north carolina and then virginia is gonna come out for woodrow wilson i think dx deity you know the, the republican establishment still likes dx deity but they're not gonna be able to win in virginia because it's just the demographic change there's so many hispanics there now and then west virginia easily going blue um with fletcher and btd's fiery naked rallies making west virginia getting the coal stamp workers out to vote for woodrow wilson kentucky's going blue Ohio is going blue. Obviously, Dylan Wiley. He's you know he's switching parties. It's gonna be like the this is gonna be the party switch like in the 1960s. The parties are gonna switch again. And Woodrow Wilson's gonna be getting the white vote out, the racist vote out. And obviously, w Dylan Wiley's gonna be doing fiery racist rallies um, for Woodrow Wilson in Ohio, suppressing the black vote, putting Nina Turner and Risen in prison um, for being too far left and for being communist and for hating this country so much. And then Indiana obviously was going blue. Um, Woodrow Wilson hates gay people, so I think. 
gay people are gonna come out huge for DXDT. You know, DXDT is gay himself, um, so um, DXDT is gonna get the gay vote. But uh, but Indiana, you know, it's a very racist state, a very white state, so they're gonna come out huge for Wood Woodrow Wilson as a result. And then Illinois, I think it's gonna go for DXDT because you know DXDT is gonna be running a Law and Order campaign, um, and you know suburbs really liked it, and and Nathan and his, and, and his orangutan army are gonna be coming out huge for DXDT as a result, so he can win Illinois, and um, and he, they're gonna be suppressing the black vote there either way. Woodrow Wilson and DXDT, they're gonna be suppressing the black vote there either way, so it doesn't really matter. Illinois is gonna go red, and then same thing in Minnesota and Wisconsin where um the fiery peaceful uh, pro the fire peaceful protests are aren't doing Democrats any favors in Minneapolis or in Milwaukee and Kenosha. So I think Minnesota and Wisconsin are easily gonna go for DXDT, especially since um Chunk Yogurt wasn't allowed in the DNC. So I, I just think without Chunk Yogurt's endorsement for Woodrow Wilson, I think DXDT. Easy, easily wins Wisconsin. And then Michigan, I think, is going to go blue because Red Eagle is going to come out and endorse Woodrow Wilson against DXDT. Red Eagle hates DXDT with a passion. And um, he, Red Eagle is going to be saying that Woodrow Wilson, you know, he supported bringing Vietnamese people um, um, when he was president so we, we can change the culture for the better to give all, all the incels a, a wife so they so they can have kids and we can change the demographics to make it more Vietnamese and more based. And so that's what Red Eagle is going to be saying about Woodrow Wilson. Wilson, so he can win Michigan. He's not going to be talking about jobs. Redigo doesn't talk about jobs anymore. Uh, but Patriot uh, probably comes out for DXDT because he's libertarian. Um, and then DC, I think um, DXDT is going to get the black vote out in DC. And I also think he's going to win Maryland because would Joe, because look, LTE, Let's Talk Election, is not going to endorse someone that Red Eagle endorsed. So um, let's, LTE is going to become a huge for DXDT, especially since he's getting the Asian vote out. So DXDT appeals to Asians. So, the, and also he's gay too. So those two things just play hand in hand. So um, DXDT is going to be getting huge gay TikTok turnout in Maryland. Um, but I think Kevin and Finnegan are going to come out huge for Woodrow Wilson, who, you know, are going to see as a real racist, as, as a person who's really going to fix America, and who's going to suppress the black vote. Um, so, um, Kevin and Finnegan are going to be doing fiery racist rallies in, um, Delaware. Fiery naked rallies, too. Um, and New Jersey's going to blue, go blue. It's Woodrow Wilson's home state, obviously. Connecticut goes blue. Um, Pennsylvania goes blue. I think DXDAT does well in the suburbs, you know, because Mike, you know, he's from Russia. Um, he's very diverse. Philadelphia is very diverse. And DXDAT, I, I think, is going to be doing well in the suburbs. But DXDAT is not going to do it with the coal workers, the coal simp workers that Fletcher and BTD are trying to uh, um, give Woodrow Wilson in Pennsylvania. So I think Woodrow Wilson wins the state. And then. New York, I think New York Griper and uh, Finnegan are going to become a huge for Woodrow Wilson. So you're going to see New York Griper and Finnegan doing fiery racist rallies. And Woodrow Wilson is going to arrest AOC. Um, and, you know, Fish is going to come out for DXDAT saying, you know, we need illegal immigrants so we can replace these um, stupid workers and replace them with illegal immigrants. So are going to do the job better. And guess what? We're going to pay them much less. So it's a win-win for us, the company of Yap Mess. So that's what Fish, so that's why Fish is going to come out for DXDAT and not Woodrow Wilson. So New York um, still to Woodrow Wilson and then Massachusetts and Rhode Island are going to go for Woodrow Wilson you know Mac Agnan he also needs the illegal immigrants uh, Mac Agnan um, is going to be giving the Gagnon UBI to Woodrow Wilson you know because you know Mac Agnan doesn't hate the XDAT too and um, you know his fat army are just going to see Woodrow Wilson you know we're going to we're going to fire all our workers and replace them with illegal immigrants who are not only going to do the job better, but guess what? We're going to pay them less. So it's a win-win for the Gagdon company. So um, his fat army is going to become a huge for Woodrow Wilson, Massachusetts, and Rhode Island, making those states go red. And then Vermont, um, New Hampshire, and Maine are going to be going for DXDT. Those states really hated Woodrow Wilson when he was president, so I think he's, DXDT wins them. So our final map has Woodrow Wilson winning in a landslide with 403 electoral votes to 135 electoral votes. This is really going to be what's well, going to switch the parties and it's going to make the democratic party the racist party um so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video um please leave a like and subscribe please leave uh video ideas in the comment section below and i'll see you all in the next video um dx deity came gaming out